Stead. Um, I work for Cambridge English. I head a, a part of the Cambridge University and I head up a team of digital innovators. We're trying to find new ways of using technology for learning. Technology is, an ama is amazing at opening a magic box. So all of a sudden um, I can be sitting here in, in Bahrain and I can be buying something that's made in, in England and I can be buying it from an American store and it's just all happening online. So, so this is quite an enabler. I mean, exact, a, a, a very obvious example would be something like Uber. So it's a company in California that's built the software layer that I can use it to pop in a Bahraini guy's car and he can drive me where I'm going and all the payments dealt with. So, so it's this real enabler. The cloud, uh, I, I'm not worried about whether where my information is sitting so much anymore. I just know that if, if, I've, if I've lost my phone, I can borrow your phone and I can log into Gmail and I can get my, my details. So these things aren't always good. They sometimes come with risks, but, but they're coming. It's not something you can really stop. There's an expectation that your information is always there. My proposal is that this wave really is just coming at us and it's not something we can stop. What we can do is try and figure out how to make use of it, how, how to master it. So to, to learn how to surf this wave or, or harness some of the power, learn how to protect certain areas of our business to, for some of these new things. Some of them might be seen as threats or, or just new challenges. Some things are enabling new competitors to come into our marketplace and to try and understand how we, how we embrace that. So I guess that's, that's really what, what I wanted to suggest. Um, then it sort of understands the scene and then it's giving you some context information about when your train's arriving and recommendations of where you might go and things that are around you. Um, so this sort of pitch is a slightly futuristic piece Except it's not that futuristic. If you use Google now, it's sort of doing that already, right? Um, so, right? Um, these things are kind of parts of digital mesh. These are all tools that probably we know. These are this is RunKeeper and Strava, which are if you, if you run, you can use for tracking where you've run. But they're all things that there's data in the cloud. You don't know where the data is. You log on on different devices. They're all they're all putting data into somewhere so you're not particularly connected with it. So they're all sort of links between real and, 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 and virtual. And I guess they're all multi-device, so you, it doesn't really mind what type of device you're on. And I think this is a, a, a sort of a sense the, of where the cloud and the combination of devices is quite powerful because it really doesn't matter where you've st stored things. Future of Jobs just came out fairly recently. And it is true. There's a bunch of jobs which are which are, are losing people and there's a bunch of jobs which are gaining people and the jobs that are gaining people are people who are working in this emer emerging tech world and the people who are losing jobs are maybe some of the people who are being partially replaced and it's it, that's not comfortable reading necessarily but that's what the current what, what seems to be happening and so you know if I my, my daughter's at university at the moment uh, studying maths and I'm kind of keen that she does something up here, right? <laughs> for, for, as, a, as a new world. And this is an extreme version of a new world. This is somebody's concept for floating cities. But, but what, what are our strategies? What, what are the things we've got in our, in our kind of weapons? What, what are our arsenal? And it really is just about learning. It's about us being smarter, right? Us, us knowing how to deal with these things. It's about school level learning being more useful for the future. It's about the way we think about our employees and training being, being better future focused. And it's just about thinking about our businesses and how, how, how we can work smarter with, with all of these changes. And that's, that's kind of all we've got to go with, right? <laughs> And instead we put together an app store and we spent our energy promoting different apps and running campaigns and licensing apps and building apps and finding engineers who had problems in the wider business and helping them make their own app and put them in the store. So we sort of turned the whole idea of, of, of delivering learning to be around performance support at the moment you need it, free for all, you just choose what you want, when you want. And instead we spent our time promoting and campaigning and working on business change initiatives. So we did quite a, a different take on, 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 on how this worked. And trying to find the ways of learning from millennials, learning from your newest employees, learning from startups, this is an innovation idea. Um, and just trying to be your own disruptor. And these seem to be a series of ideas that are circulating around businesses.